Hi guys and welcome to this new video and in this video we'll be testing out the new Firefox OS which can run on Android for sure okay so this is basically an Android launcher which can run on your Android device and it will act as a full-fledged Firefox OS as you can see that is a notification shade over there which is quite basic there are nothing over there as such okay you have the Wi-Fi toggle the airplane mode toggle and the Bluetooth toggle so we will head over and go into the settings which will take you to the Firefox OS settings and as you can see it is again categorized just like Android would be so it's personalization, sound, display, home screens so this is the Firefox settings OS settings as you can see so by the way so that's running on a phone and that's how it would look like on a tablet so so it's again basically just a launcher so we have the MI pad over here so that's how it looks like so it's a pretty much a launcher as you can see so you have all the Android apps that you can launch okay so I'll just open up a Firefox app which is the browser and I'll also try to open it up on the phone okay okay and the bad thing about this is that you cannot go back to the home screen whatever you want to so if I press back it will just not head back to the home screen so you need to press the home button and do that to get back to the home screen every time so I'll just open up the browser over here too and on here too and I'll just go to HTML5 test okay so you also get the new Firefox OS launch keyboard okay so we will just go there so as you can see we have the 484 points over here and I'll just go over there and if you'd carefully notice out there it says you are using Firefox mobile 4.45.0 on Firefox OS so it, it does recognize it as Firefox OS now it is a launcher so it's very buggy it will keep crashing and restarting a few times and it does more on the tab than it does on the device mainly because of Xiaomi's memory limitations so besides that we will just again just head back into the home screen and I'll keep the tab aside okay so if you just go back to the home screen and you can go into the marketplace so as you would have already known is that this operating system is based completely on HTML5 and CSS so most of the apps that you will see will just be a link to the website okay so you have uh, shortcuts for sites which you can pin to the home page okay you have add-ons which is are basically browser add-ons and then you have apps which are basically web apps so you have open the you know open web which is actually the whatsapp for the firefox mobile os and i'll not let that run but it's again just a browser retention so if you just open there as you can see there's a search bar if you search anything it will just open up a search in google so that's not showing anything right now so you can of course drag from the right corner or the left corner to switch between screens or apps basically which is very good so as you can see I have installed the Facebook app over there and if I click on open app it will just take me to the Facebook website so that's pretty much not done so it won't feel like a native OS as a native OS app at all so let's open up and try to search the marketplace so if you just press any search it'll just take you back to the browser into a Google search so that's another disappointing factor over there so we are not here to judge the lagginess or how smoothly the OS is performing because this is running as an Android launcher so there are a lot of limitations over there so a standalone version might be quite stable and smooth okay as you can see that is lagging a lot because it just take up does take up a lot of resources and stuff so there is the phone application from the Firefox OS messages application contacts email gallery music and video now this cannot read my music from the SD card mainly because it's just a launcher so even though I have music I cannot show it to you over there as you can see there's just no way to go back using the Android tools so the only thing that will work is the home button which also stops working at times as you can see over there so okay so now it's working 
So we'll just go back to the home screen and I'll just try on the phone application. So there is the phone dialer and you can do pretty much everything with it. So those are your contacts, which will again be pretty basic and it will just start syncing. Okay, I'll just click that. And uh, the contacts should come up over here. We'll just check out the settings over here. And as you can see, it's pretty basic. It lets you do the simplest of, simplest of stuff. And I'll just go back and this will be your call log. So that's pretty much from the dialer itself. Let's check out the messaging app. Well, no, sorry, I'll not check out the messaging app, but it's pretty simple because it has a lot of personal information out there. So we'll avoid opening the messaging app, but it's pretty much the same. And there you have the email app, the video app, the clock, and the calendar application. You have the data usage app. So we'll just try to open up the calendar app. So these are again all HTML and CSS based apps, but they are running inside the Firefox OS. As you can see, it is definitely laggy. Okay, so there is the calendar app. It's quite useful. You have a lot of views. As you can see, you have the week view, month view, and the day view. And you have an Android kind hamburger menu. And of course, you can add events. So it's pretty much similar to what Android does, but it has a long way to go. It's very basic right now. The apps just don't work at all. They are just links to their websites as if they were Chrome apps. But they're basically written on HTML5 and CSS. So if you know HTML5 and CSS, you can basically code for the Firefox OS. So that's all, guys, from this video. I hope you like this video. And if you did like it, go, go over down there and hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.